In this week's video I'm going to be finding out how to look after the 12 volt battery that's underneath the hood on the Renault Zoe and also I'm going to find out is the Zoe as fussy as people think on the granny cable. So I've got a BMW i8 and as you probably already know and I've got a granny cable from that BMW i8 so I thought let's find out if the BMW i8 same as the i3 cable will charge a Renault Zoe because everyone says the Zoe is the fussiest charging car you can get and I expect that BMW make a high quality granny cable so I'd expect that high quality granny cable to charge the Renault Zoe so let's find out first things first as you can see the i8 charger it says power, uh, the charging light's obviously not lit because it's not plugged in yet. It says ground present, they don't go green by the way, they stay amber. So it says there's a ground present, so that's working, and there's no charging fault up, but obviously it's not char not plugged in for charging yet, so we wouldn't know. So let's plug it in, let's find out what happens. Right, let's plug it in, let's find out. Open up the hatch, and we've got a lock. Well, as you can hear, we've got an obvious charging buzz, and the green charging light's lit, and the charge fault light is not lit. So, good sign so far. Let's go and check the car. If you enjoy my videos, and you've watched a couple of them, and you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe down at the bottom. Most people don't watch the video at the end when I ask you to subscribe, so I'm asking you halfway through now to please subscribe. It means a lot to me. Thanks very much. Good news is, the car's buzzing, the charger's buzzing. Let's check the dash, make sure it definitely is charging. And as you can see, we got 60% remaining, uh, time remaining 7 hours and 15 minutes, so it's obviously a granny cable, and the battery here at the end is going up and down, which are all good signs that the Zoe is charging, it's taking the charge. So, yes, you can buy other granny cables for the Renault Zoe apart from Renault's own. The BMW i3 and i8 cable obviously works, and I believe it is cheaper than Renault's cable, so, if you do want a granny cable and you don't want to buy the Renault cable, you can buy the BMW cable. There's also a cable from a company called EV One Stop, which is what the Renault Zoe Owners Club recommend to people. It's a Rolex cable, I believe. There's a link for that in my About page, or you can find it on the Renault Zoe Owners Club. So, there we go. If you buy a quality, good-made uh, granny cable, it will charge the Zoe absolutely fine. So, as I mentioned before, there's a 12-volt battery under here. And to get to it, you just need to pop the bonnet on the passenger side, if you're obviously in England or in France, it'll be on the driver's side, because the French are too lazy to change it around. But in here, you've got a little switch just to the right of the badge, or the passenger side, and if you're in the UK, and if you're in Europe, it'll be on the driver's side. And you just flip that catch there, and your 12 volt battery just sits under here. So I'll just get you a bit closer. So this little 12 volt battery here looks after all the electrical parts of the car so your lights your uh, general sort of heating controls turning the car off and on obviously this battery is topped up by the traction battery so the he sorry the heating is actually controlled by the traction battery but all the consumer electronics your cigarette lighter the any 12 volt system on the car is controlled by this so that's mainly your lights indicators turning the car off and on are all controlled by this little battery here and if this battery is not kept into top form, it will cause you issues. Uh, some of the issues it will cause are faults on the screen saying there's a problem with the battery. Now, there's a, this is a few, there's a few things you can do to keep a 12 volt battery into check. So there's a couple of things you can do to keep 12 volt in check. One is if you use your car every day, the 12 volt will look after itself. It will constantly be topped up by the traction battery unless it starts to fail at three years it's due for every three years the Renault Zoe battery is due for replacement under the service schedule it's up to you obviously if you replace it on the three years but it's a recommended service replacement part some people might decide to leave it for the fourth year but really you should be doing it at least every four years to save yourself from hassle if you're not using your car regularly like every day, then I'd certainly change it at the three year service plan as recommended. So keep that in mind. If you are not using it every day, if you're leaving it for weeks, two weeks, where it's going to be unattended, then definitely get that 12 volt battery changed every three years. There's a couple of ways you can keep the 12 volt battery in check. One of the reasons, one of the ways you can keep it in check is you can just basically use the car. 
The other way you can keep it in check is if you've not using the car regular, every now and again, open the doors, shut the doors. What that'll do, most people think it will drain the battery because you've obviously your, your interior light will come on. But what it actually does is it tells the Zoe to wake up. And when the Zoe wakes up, it will check the 12 volt battery at the front here to see if it's flat. If it is flat, the traction battery, as long as it's over, I think about 40%, I might be wrong on those figures, but as long as the bat the traction battery has got some charge in it, the traction battery will then charge the 12 volt battery, and that will in turn look after it. So that's that's good news. Now, if you're going away on holiday, what I'd advise you to do is set maybe a, a plug your car in and leave it plugged into 100%, and maybe set a charge schedule so it's not fully always constantly charging. Maybe set a charge schedule where it just pops on for an hour's charge, half an hour's charge while you're away. The way to sort of look after it from abroad and make sure the 12 volts stayed up is set the charging schedule so it just only comes on for an hour at night. But every now and again, have the preheat kick in on here for 15 minutes. So as I've said before, my preheat video, which will be uh, listed up at the top right hand corner, you press this, you select a time and the preheat will kick in. So if you have the preheat kick in for those 15 minutes that you've got the charge schedule kicked in, just turn those fans off, it's a bit noisy. So if you have the charge schedule and the preheat setting to start at the same time, that'll wake the car up. It'll be plugged in, so it'll be charging, so you won't lose any, uh, any battery charge. And that will then check your 12 volt battery and top it up. So you could set that to come on every day, every two days, or vice versa. The other way is maybe have a family member come out and check on the car and open and shut the doors for you. Or the other way is go on the app and as long as your car is in a place where Renault services work and the Renault server is not down, then you can use the app to turn on the preheat and that will also wake the car up and also check the 12 volt battery. Another way to keep a 12 volt battery in check is, as we all know, batteries don't like cold. So keep your car garage, keep the keep the if, as long if you've got a heated garage, brilliant. The 12 volt battery should be fine for a two week holiday. It won't lose any charge. It'll be well looked after. But if you you know it's left outside, I mean at the moment it's it's it, you know it's it's pretty much March. It's almost March. We end of Feb, but we've got the beast from the east when I've recorded this video, which is why there's a lot of snow outside. It can happen, cold snaps can happen in the UK, so if you have got a garage, it will keep the 12 volt battery in better check because it's keeping the temperature looked after, but just consider that if you are going away for two weeks, keep the battery in check somehow. This applies to all cars, this doesn't just apply to electric cars, this applies to ICE cars as well. The difference is, with an electric car, you have ways to top up that, uh, that 12 volt battery from the main traction battery and keep it looked after while you're away on holiday. Thanks very much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again next week. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.